Hey guys, I want to go over a line of code that I wrote in one of my videos, and that is line 46 here, um, where I'm setting the state and I'm setting the state with errors and I'm spreading open the state as well. Now, this is a line that uh, someone in the comments asked about whether it was the correct way to do it, and I thought it'd be good in case anyone else was writing their code like this why this is not the most optimal. I usually don't write stuff like this, but in this moment, for whatever reason, I wrote it like this. Now, this code works right here. Setting the state like this works just fine. It's just not the most optimal. Optimal. So I wanna show you why um, this is not, and how set state works, and why this, how this could be improved upon. So just for context, this is a form component here. Um, and the state just has a first name, last name, username, email, and password. So five different fields basically, and for each one I have the actual value and then the error for it. So last name, last name, error. And then the it's in this function called validate which is run and basically all it's doing is it creates this object called errors and it looks through it, it does a couple checks and if it, you know, if we find any errors in it we'll go ahead and set the errors here and then what we'll do is we'll set the state with the errors and that'll go ahead and update you know because we're taking this object and it's going to come up here and uh, populate the errors that we have and then that will reload the component and the component will render with the errors so that's what's happening here now the way I'm doing it is I'm basically um, creating a new object here so that's why how you why you see this right here and I'm spreading over this dot state so I'm keeping all of the values that are currently there. Um, they might be the default or maybe they change somehow. Um, the user types some stuff in, whatever. I'm keeping the state the same and then I'm opening the errors. So any case where we have an error here, it's gonna overwrite whatever the state is and that's gonna be updated. Now, the reason why this is not needed, particularly line 47 is unnecessary. We can comment this out and the code will work the same because this dot set state does what's called a shallow merge. And now how a shallow merge works is if you look at your object, so let's say our state has just the component a is equal to one. If we do this dot set state and we say b is equal to two, all it's gonna do is it's gonna take our object here and it's gonna add the property b. It's not gonna overwrite this. So what it will turn into is a one b two. So that is what's called a shallow merge. So it's taking both objects, this guy here, and the original state, and what we want to update the state with, and kind of just squishing the two objects together. Now, if this was a b here, all it would do is it would overwrite the b, and you would have a b is equal to two here after setting the state. So there is no need to do, you know, grab what the original values of state are because it is a uh, shallow merge. So you can get rid of that line. And then once you get rid of that line, you notice I'm spreading over the errors into a new object. But that's really unnecessary because look at this. We already have the, it in an object form. The names here line up with the names here. So we don't need to change anything. All we really need to do is come here and we could say this dot set state to errors. And that's gonna be equivalent. Um, and this is the most, I would say the most optimal way to update the state here. So that is how I would recommend updating the state here. Don't do what I was doing before like this. So this dot state and then dot 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 errors. So these two are equivalent. They'll ha update the state in the same way this is just a bad way to do it right here and we'll just comment this out because we don't want to use it so that's it for this video guys I just wanted to go over real quick how set state is working because there's multiple ways to update your state make sure you're setting your state like this don't spread open the state like that and only you know know that it's a shallow merge like this and uh, use that to your advantage for saving just computation time when you're setting the state so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.